What's up, YouTube? Okay, so let's talk a little bit about let's talk a little bit about uh, the Super 73 S2. Is it still a good option in 2023? And uh, there's no exact answer to that. I mean, it's very subjective. Uh, it depends on your needs. Um, but uh, on, in my opinion, yes. I mean, the, 20, uh, the Super 73 S2 is still a very good option. Still a very good option here in, uh, in 2023. It is uh, great for its class. I mean, if you're comparing it to something like uh, the Suron, you can't really compare the two totally different animals. The Suron has more power, uh, better top speed. Um, it's just a different, it's a different bike. Uh, here in Toronto, you could ride a Suron and get away with it. And I've seen a lot of people do it and I think it's pretty cool and pretty badass. And cheers to you if you own a Suron here in the GTA or in Ontario. Uh, I think it's a beautiful bike, but uh, for me, for what I need, a Super 73, the S2 in particular is just, is just enough for me. I don't really need to go that fast, I think. The Super 73 S2 gives me plenty of speed. Uh, I mean, of course, can it be torquier? There's definitely cons. The Super 73 isn't the perfect animal. Um, it just works for me. And, uh, and that's just how I see it. I mean, you've got other options like uh, the Onyx RCR or um, like the Suron. Uh, and they're both very good options. If you uh, want to spend the money, you're going to be getting more speed with it. I mean, you also have the Super 73 options of getting uh, getting a hold of a uh, you know an RX. Get the back suspension. For me personally, I don't need that back suspension. I mean, it would be nice to have. Like I say in a bunch of videos, it's it would be fun to have. Uh, back suspension on this and uh, sometimes I do feel like I should have gotten it but uh, I am so in love with the looks of the S2 that uh, I can take that uh, slightly bumpier ride in the hardtail ride I don't seem to have too big of an issue with it if that makes sense now uh, looking at the Suron or the Onyx I still think the Suron is possibly the be better option. I've heard, uh, well, I mean, watching YouTube videos, I've seen a lot of people with the Onyx uh, complain that it's a bit too tough. Uh, the back suspension isn't that great, but then again, of course, you're gonna be getting good back suspension on a, on a dirt bike, right, like the Suron. And obviously with the Suron, you can take it anywhere. I've seen some videos with people with the Onyx, they take it anywhere too, so it's, uh, I still find that they're two different animals. I think that the Onyx would do great on roads. I just don't think it would do the best off-road. I'm sure you could do it off-road. Um, I'm still a big fan of the Suron. I love the way it looks. And I'm a big fan of the Onyx. I'm, I love the way it looks too. Um, but the Super 73 S2. Top speed with the torque update. I still get about 50-51. Uh, plenty of speed for me uh, the lower end torque is better but it's still nowhere near anything like we see with the other guys and that's just uh, and that's just how it is cool thing with the Super 73 is I don't feel like you're gonna have any issues with any cops ever I mean I've, I've gone past uh, quite a few and I just kind of paddle they don't seem to care uh, the onyx looks a little bit too intimidating and I can see that onyx possibly giving me an issue if I was to, uh, if I was to grab one um,
but uh, yeah what do you guys prefer are you guys uh, riding the Super 73 the Onyx the RCR the Saron So let's go back onto the Super 73. So Quite a lot of wind here, oh my goodness. talk a little bit about uh, the Super 73 S2 um, you got flat tires which is one of the obvious uh, characteristics but uh, you've also got front forks suspension forks um, you're missing the back fork so it is a hardtail you've got a, a fairly decent headlight which I am a big fan of uh, aesthetically look it looks beautiful in my opinion You've got tail lights, which work also when you click that brake. You also have a lot of customization options with any Super 73 or Onyx or Saron. But uh, let's just focus on, uh, focus on the Super 73 S2 for now. So. Um, I've got turn signals on here because I sometimes like to ride on the road uh, if I'm doing some of this commuting. And uh, they, they work pretty well. Uh, I bought them from uh, Luminade. Talking about uh, the range, uh, let's talk about the range on the Super 73 S2. I mean, they say it can take you 75, 75 miles. Uh, that's on the Eco pedal. Let's be honest, the real world, when uh, you are giving it full throttle and you're going full speed and you're trying to get somewhere, I find realistically I could get about 40 kilometers, no problem. Uh, yeah, roughly about 40 kilometers. Uh, I'm not too sure what the miles of that is, but I'm going to put it on the screen. But uh, 40 kilometers throttle only, unlimited, just, just shooting it, you know? Um, I feel that's what I genuinely get. Uh, and I think that's okay. I, I don't... Like, that's, that's a good distance. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to be taking this or taking any bike for more than a 40 kilometer trip, unless I'm doing like a group ride. Uh, but uh, 40 kilometers is a, is, a, is, a, is a large distance to be able to cover. And uh, on a single charge, I think that's brilliant. Uh, absolutely very efficient for me to take this. You know, I, I, I got this thinking I could only really run to the grocery store. 
or to pick up a pizza. I mean, where am I going to hold the pizza? But, you know, it's what, it's what I told myself to buy it, but uh, not realizing I can actually use this to commute quite often. And I find that it's not... Uh, It's not uh, that difficult. Oh man, too much gravel on here. I always find gravel and glass on this road. So, and because this bike has a large tire surface area, I do not want to puncture it because it's a lot easier to puncture something with a large surface area, which is just kind of common sense. Let's go after this one baby let's go come on okay let's do it <laughs> okay sorry I'm just having some fun on here it's always fun to to ride the 73 but uh, I went on a buddy Suron and that is a different totally different animal I love it I mean you you got the twist throttle it's got a, a lot of low-end torque I mean it's it's a dirt bike you need it you know so I think it's a brilliant uh, absolutely brilliant uh, beast right there but uh, on that note let's uh let's talk a little bit more about the s2 so you can put things on it like a rear view mirror which is i would recommend to be one of the first things you put on your bike especially if you go on the road um a horn the s2 doesn't come with one the rx and the rx mojaves and all the new ones do um but it doesn't cost that much to get one put on. 15, 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, if I can find the one that I that I got, I'm gonna throw it up on the screen. But it's really good, it comes with an alarm, I love it. Uh, I put some Luminate turn signals just because I'm riding on the road uh, for the foreseeable future, so. Yeah, I thought it'd be a good, uh, it'd be a good addition. I mean, it brings to my safety. But uh, other than that, uh, I mean, you got the basics, the Blackburn bag, uh, you know, things like that, but uh, nothing too big. I didn't really, I didn't replace my seat yet. I want to, but I haven't done it yet. I just, uh, I haven't broken in the, the old seat. I mean, I just feel like it's gonna be wasteful, so I don't need to spend the money right now. Let me just break in the seat. And uh, when I start doing longer distances and I feel like I really need it, I will, uh, I'll do that upgrade. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Uh, let me know if you guys are Super 73 fans or if you guys are Super 73 riders or if you're a Suron rider. I'm just wow look at that look at that view that's absolutely beautiful like that's just pristine Canadian land that's love it but uh, anyways uh, yeah let me know if you guys are super 73 fans or uh, if you guys are uh, Suron riders or if you guys are Onyx riders here in Ontario that'd be awesome or anywhere in the world it'd be always good to hear uh, hear from other riders in the community on that note I wish you guys all a great one. Peace.